Well, hey y'all, welcome back to Hanging with Liz. Um, tonight I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to start something because the diamond dot thing was so big. I'm going to teach you all how I use my extra diamonds to create something beautiful. So I'm going to start it out with you all. I just started a little bit. And um, I'll show you kind of how it works. And then I'll make another video down the road to show you another part and eventually we'll have the whole thing done but for now let's get started okay so here's how this starts okay i got a birdhouse at michael's it's like 84 cents and it's wooden and it's cute Got the little thing and I sanded it really good so it's not hurting me. So I did use some sandpaper. Okay, and then I took this glue and I shook, shook, shook. It's the dot sticky glue that you can buy at any craft store. I bought it at Hobby Lobby. It was like eight bucks. Yep, eight nine nine. And I took just a regular paintbrush and you drop some glue on. And then you take this and you brush it on and it comes on white. And then you wait about 30 minutes and it dries sticky. Okay? It's when you actually have to let it dry first before you start sticking stuff. But it works. Okay? Now this one's wood, so this works fine. You also can use craft glue, E6000. Um, some people use Mod Podge. I like this one because I'm not rushed and I can do the whole section and then just kind of work it. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of tools. I have this one, this one, and this one, and I have this one. They all work just a little different. For those of you who've never diamond dot, it's actually the wax that allows you to pick up the gems. Okay? So, it's actually pretty easy going. Let me see if I can show you better. You take your towels, right? And you take your tray, and there's this. You pick up a gem on your tip, and I'm gonna tweak it a little bit later. Okay, so you get the principle. So you do that till it's all full. So I'm gonna do the other side. And that's kind of my project. Um, for this one, I like Aura Barrialis beads because they're extra blinged, and even Diamond Dot has their line in it, so I'm using this color. It is color 7002. It's super blingy black. It's a black Aura Barrialis, so it picks up a lot of golds and purples and pinks to it, and that's what this looks like. When the sun hits it, it's going to be really, really pretty. And I left it wood tone underneath. A lot of people paint it, some marker it. I did a wood tone for the roof underneath so it picks up more of a golden tone when it's outside. Now, I live in an apartment complex. This was not ever going to be used for birds. But I could. I could put all my beads down, mosh posh it. The only thing is if you are doing it for birds, like physical birds and not just the deco piece, I'd probably make sure not to do um, this piece right here or in there or, you know, some parts of the fence. I like this one because it actually has a spot you could put bird food if you wanted to. It's kind of cute. And then there's like a the little perch for them to sit on and then of course the house. So I feel like it's got a lot of cute little touches. They can sit on the fence or on top of the roof you know if I was gonna do this for birds to keep it safe I would do the roof still then I'll still do the house but I would not do the pegs or where the food is just because or you know like the top piece I'd probably just paint that um I already decided mine's a deco piece so that's fine that's the other thing if you mess up you can take this metal piece and you can slide that bead down and over. Pop it in and it'll be good. See? Easy bead. 
any rate, so that's an option. There are a lot of great options out there and a lot of great tools. This I got on Amazon. It was a two pack. It came in a little metal tin. I had two extra tips and two pens. And I like this one because this is my wax. I don't have to keep refilling it. And it works great with oddball shapes like squares and stuff. But it also works great just like moving things over. I just like it. This one's cool. I don't know if any of you have seen this. It lets me do four or six at the same time. They're also good for square beads. And you just kind of pick up some beads. I'm just going to do three to show you. And then you pick a blank spot. I'll do right here. And you just stick them on. And I got three beads on. It's really that easy. This one does three max. And then this one does one. These work with wax for those of you who haven't diamond dotted. You got wax and you just kind of like stick it in there and then you grab a bead and you stick it on. Easy peasy. Okay. Um, and this pen also uses wax. It lights up so I can see my bead. I love this pen. This was a gift from somebody and it's super, super cool. I really do love it. That's another option you can use. This really is something fun to do, something different to do. You can diamond dot anything, legitimately anything. You can diamond dot a purse, or a bookmarker, or a hat. I mean, there is no limit with this glue and some tools as to what you can and can't do. Which is kind of really cool if you think about it. If you can see I'm going a little faster, you can see the speed now. I've been diamond dotting for a while. And I know kind of how to do that. Okay, well for our first video, we're just going to give you enough to kind of start your own project. You can get a kit where it's all preset. Or if you've been diamond dotting for a while and have some extras maybe. You can grab a thing at like Dollar Tree or Michael's. Wood's an easy start. I've done metal before and I've done canvas. And I've done all kinds of different things. But wood's a good starting point. Yeah, this stays firm and it's right there and it's just simple. Don't worry about it being perfectly even. No one's going to notice. Once it's all done, it's just blingy. There's perfection and imperfection sometimes. Something to think about. The main thing is to make sure when you do the glue that you put enough down that it kind of just holds there and to cover it all you can mod podge or you know there's lots of options as far as keeping it solid but you don't want it to like move after you need to press it in secret about the wax pens, they sell them in all colors, you can literally change the color of the tip as you go, or you can, I prefer clear, because it doesn't affect my colors the same way, you can see these screw off, 
they are 100% replaceable. So really you only need one good pen and then from there you can buy these. These are cheaper. It's not that bad. It's totally worth it. Um, the one I have people use for like when you get your nails done and they want to bling your nails. We use them for. But I use it when I do stuff like this. Sometimes even when I just do my regular kit. Sometimes you just need a little bit of bling. You just gonna carefully pushing that around. All right, I got a little bit done. Let's finish off the video with that. I would say main thing, don't be afraid to try something. Have fun with it and enjoy it. Because what's the point of crafting if you don't enjoy it? I would love to see your projects below in the comments. Stuff you're thinking about doing. Hope this encourages you all. Alright. So as you can see, my roof's starting to really take shape now. It's super blingy. You can't really tell how even and uneven they are. That's because they're circular diamonds. They sell square diamonds too. Square diamonds are easier to line up but you can tell when they're off. Round bling, eh, not as much. I mean, you can see there's some imperfection there, but it looks complete because it is. You can already see that kind of gold blue tone picking up. That's because I have a blue background right there. If I get it closer to me, it picks up a different color. If I put it near pink, you'll see some purple gemstones come in. So, as you can see, it depends on where you're at. I'm excited because I'm going to finish up this piece tonight. And I'll probably do this side. And then I'll come back to y'all with another video. Maybe like a week or two. So that's everything I'm doing. It should end up really, really cute when we're done. I hope you all have a really good night. And I will see you all later. Bye, y'all.